Good morning. Well, I wanted to show you guys my, I got a dirt diaper flying around my head, um, show you my sweet potatoes this morning. Um, I've not, not showed them a whole lot, except for I just showed the little bitty plants when I first stuck them in the ground, but they are really coming on, the vines are growing. I've always heard you just throw them out there and, and just let them go, get out of the way, and that's pretty much what it's been. Um, those things are vining out good. Um, I did give them a little bit of triple 13 when I first planted them, but um, reading on it uh, from several videos on YouTube and other sources, I know that they need potassium. So I got me some potash, which you see is 0060. Um, and uh, I need to put that around. I should have already done it. We've had a very wet past few weeks. Uh, a lot of rain in the evenings. I've just not been able to get out here and do much. Um, and you can tell it in the garden. The weeds are coming up bad. Uh, it's it's my fault. I mean, just hadn't been able to take care of it like I wanted to. Um, but that's just how it goes. Uh, win some, you lose some, and I've I've lost I've lost some on this one. But um, but it's I've I've gotten a bunch of tomatoes, um, and um, I'm there's still more tomatoes out there to get. I'm about I've lost some tomatoes these past week. It's just been so wet, um, and the wilt and disease and stuff has really got into them. So. Um, I've lost quite a few of my tomatoes, but today's all about the sweet potato. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and, and, like I said, I should have already put this out on the sweet potatoes because the vines are starting to get in the way, but I'm going to try to work around the vines a little bit and sprinkle some of this in, and um, and then I'll show you my next thing I'm going to do for them. All right, so what I did was I just took my my hoe down through there and made me a little trench along the side of the plant. Like I said, they're, they're vined out a little bit, so that made it a little bit difficult. But I was able to get around most of the plants with it and then just sprinkle my cup around them. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back, and I've healed these up pretty good. You can see I've got a pretty good heel back here. But I'm gonna come through here and try to do a little bit more of a heel just one more time, and then that's gonna be it for these plants, I'm sure, because they are taking off quick. So uh, let me go get my wheel hoe and I'll show you how to do that. All right, I'm hot now. So, as you saw there, 
I took my single wheel hoe and just went down the side best I could without damaging too many vines and rubbed my cultivator teeth along the middle. And then I come back, here it is over here, with my rake and just pulled that dirt up on the hill a little bit. Did two things for me that covered up that potash. And then it also, did a little bigger hill there, not too much bigger, but uh, healed it up a little bit more. So I have no idea on these sweet potatoes if it's gonna work. This will be a success or failure, and I will give you an update later um, here in a couple months. So um, I'm gonna close this video out. I appreciate you watching. Leave me a comment below. If you ever grown sweet potatoes, do you think I'm gonna have any sweet potatoes? Um, what am I doing right? Sorry, I got my stuff. What am I doing wrong? Leave me some comments. I want to hear from you. I appreciate you watching this one, and I'll catch you on the next video. Goodbye.